gal Jim Panky here with a classic. Not a bluegrass classic, but a Beatles classic. I just got through watching a little while back the Beatles documentary, and I thought, you know, I could probably play Get Back on the banjo. So I thought, well, that's kind of fun. Maybe you'd like to play Get Back on the banjo and, and, and impress or maybe annoy all your friends. So I figured, why not? I could just show you this thing. And mostly, I think, not just mostly, I think it's entirely stuff that you should know. And maybe to give you some insight into how I go about taking any melody and twisting it around just a little bit to make it fit the banjo. Is that something you'd like? Cool. Well, if it is, hang on. We'll go into it. But first, hey, if you do like this sort of thing, seriously, if you like it and, you know, you, you get value out of this kind of content, hit a like button. That's awesome. It would be really cool if you would subscribe. And uh, if you want to get notifications, ring the bell. I appreciate it. Thanks. All right. So let's look at Get Back. It starts with just a standard kickoff. It's just a pinch and a four, two, three. Any way you want to do that. And then we're going to do, it's basically a foggy mountain roll. Uh, it's an idea that we can use in Foggy Mountain Breakdown. So I'm just hitting a one, hammer, two, five, one, five. So. But the second time I slide up to the fifth fret on the second string, that sounds like... And now we're going to slide up to the 6th fret. So it's just 2, 2, 1, 5, 2, 1, 5. And then 2, 2, 1, 5, 2, 1, 5. Alright, let's do that again. C chord, pretty much anything goes here. You'll want to make sure that you start on the second string. So you could do, you could do pretty much anything you want. Forward roll, double forward roll, whatever. It really is up to you. So let's, for example's sake here, just do, so just that same roll again. Two, two, one, five, two, one. Or you could do two, five, two, one, five, two, one. Both of those work. So you could just do a forward roll right there if you wanted to. But it really is your choice. So let's go that far. You get the idea what's going on there? I hope so. I changed it just a little bit. But basically what we're doing is we're hanging on to a forward roll and we're moving our melody around on the second string. Does that make sense? I think it does. And, and I think as you do it, you're going to understand it better. So we got to our C. And now we can do an alternating roll off the third string. And then we can do a alternating roll off the fourth string and do a hammer. So we got and then a four and then some sort of forward roll off the five. Again, totally up to you what you want to do there. 
So let's go that far in the song. So now we're up to the get back part. Get back. And so that's get back. And all I'm doing is I'm holding the uh, second string. Again, our melody is still on the second string. And I'm holding that at the fifth fret. And I'm pinching one and two. You see what I did there? Just a forward roll. Okay. a forward and reverse so forward and reverse and, a, and then another five two one five another half a measure just to fill in the space all we're doing is filling in the space i'm not counting i'm not doing anything but what i do have going on is i have the song going on in my head so i'm going get back get does that three times the and then I'm just filling space in between I do it different every time I do it really truly when I'm playing it but you can just do a forward and reverse roll forward rolls whatever works for you there you could almost continue that double forward foggy mountain breakdown roll if you wanted to totally up to you so we've got get back, get back, get back to where we went. All right, so I am just playing the melody. So it's six. jump over to the third string and I'm so that's one and three slide back one still one and three and then one and three so and you could play that open I like to play that with a from a slide from three to five and I'm pinching a four three and one so that sounds like so that whole section of the chorus sounds like some sort of roll again it's up to you and because I'm going to do it and change it around to something that feels comfortable for me I don't know what feels comfortable for you your goal is to hit those melody notes because that's the part that people are going to recognize does that make sense I hope so so watch noticed when I'm doing this I might do that sometimes and I think just about every time I've hammered that note so you can hammer that note if you want but 
but you don't have to. Again, it's totally up to you. So let's play through that part of the song one more time. Kind of slow. Alrighty, folks. Well, it's not bluegrass, but it's a fun tune to play. And it's really not that hard. And I guarantee you, your bluegrass buddies will be able to play it. Bluegrass it up. Sing the harmony parts. Do it all. It'll be a lot of fun. Hey, any tune that you want to play, you can play on the banjo. And the thing I tell all my students is never wrong to play the melody. So if you have to stop your roll to play the melody, stop the roll, play the melody. Work on this tune. Have a good time with it. Just enjoy it. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.